are you going to use that for? We're going to break the wall. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this is actually happening. Guys, my wife forced me to do this. Jeez. Why are you taking that out? Guys, this is not good. Yeah, but you want to preserve as much as you can. You can't preserve what's already done. All right, guys, uh, so we're gonna pause on the cabin and we're gonna paint this house. Uh, this house has been sitting here for almost a year without being painted, so we decided today's a good day to paint. Let's go, let's do this. This girl swims all day long. How's the pool, by the way? Good. Any good uh, recommendations for the people that don't have a pool? Get a pool. I can't believe this is actually happening. Guys, my wife forced me to do this. Scarlett! Hi! Can you wait? Are you sure you want to paint this? Alright, one, two, I'm three. I'm One, two, three. I'm not quite certain like why it. she's screaming. Well, I don't know. Actually, it's too white. It's too white. Too white. I don't know if I like it anymore. Say what? I'm sorry. Now she seems uncertain <laughs> about her preferences. Initially, she requested one thing, and after we finally chose the white color out of hundred other options, she's still unsure. Feels like it's a never-ending job, huh? Work here. Never-ending. Hey Ross. It's like one project after another project. Wow, Bridget, you're bringing me food? Oh. You shouldn't have. Who's that for? Food cheek. Oh, wow. I guess he's more important. Initially, I had optimistic expectations that this would proceed more swiftly. Yet, dealing with all these corners and obstacles is significantly impeding my pace. I had promised to complete within a week for her, but at this rate, it's likely to stretch into a month, unless I receive assistance. Well, in a good side, it's not really hot, so... It's still hot. Yeah, but it could have been worse, right? It could have been 90, sunburning, sunblist, sunburn. Well, I, I, I chose the right weather. <laughs> After placing this task on hold, we had to shift our attention back to the cabin project, which seems to be taking longer than expected. It's just my wife and me working on it, which might be the reason for the delay. Nevertheless, we're making progress, and that's what matters. Careful for snakes, Ross. I don't need no surprises. Where's your gloves? What are you gonna use that for? We're gonna brace the wall. Mm -hmm. I probably should have initiated bracing right from the outset, but I often try to avoid unnecessary additional work. Even though I recognize now that it is crucial, without it, we would face difficulties down the line. So what we're doing right now is we're bracing this wall, because when we start picking this up, these bottom logs might give. Uh, so I want to prevent that from happening. And also, this corner is going this way. Uh, so I need this corner, I need everything here to stay intact so when we're lifting nothing gives nothing goes it's important to know that this isn't my primary occupation so i might not get everything perfect on the first attempt however i'm committed to learning as we go 
My approach is based on learning from mistakes. As I say, it's all about trial and error. Let me show you guys how much we need to pick up that corner. 34 and a half. So this corner is one of the better corners in this building. We can go outside and measure it. What's that joist is at at the, at the moment? Well, right now it's also sagging, so I'll need to go up. But it's at 25, 25 uh, and a half, so almost uh, what nine inches? So nine inches it needs We're to go off. up. Yeah. So so think about this. Right now, this needs to go nine inches up. Dang. That's a lot. That is a lot. Like so, a lot, a lot. It's quite a bit. So if we see, if we if we go by that corner, and that corner is one of the better corners, like I said, nine inches, and I wonder how much more do we need to pick up that corner. So now, what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm actually gonna put a four by four underneath these door frame and push the door frame with the entire house. Hopefully that will work. At the commencement of the rebuilding journey, my primary concern revolved around how we would manage to lift the cabin, considering the majority of the logs are deteriorated making any work challenging. Yet step by step, we're gradually managing to elevate it. I find it rather impressive, especially since I have no prior experience with such tasks. It's a testament to taking things one step at a time. nerve-wracking just don't know if anything will pop out and hit you or crumble you or destroy you subscribe if you want to see anything going crazy because it will probably will because honestly everything's shifting not the way we want it correct i wish it was more smoother this is not working out the way that i planned okay i quit and you quit so that equals two quitters. no results. <laughs> two quitters. Why are you taking that out? I guess this is not good. Yeah, but you want to preserve as much as you can. You can't preserve what's already done. Any secret treasures? Yeah. What is it? This is underneath the stairs. Oh, thank you. You're so helpful. I needed water so bad. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So this probably was a nest, some kind. Where? Yeah. So far, we have nothing. Look at this. The truth is, life can be compared to a cabin, compromising both favorable and unfavorable aspects. Just as you would need to eliminate the negative elements from the cabin to preserve what remains and then enhance it for the purpose of relishing many years to come, the same principle applies to our lives. If we allow the detrimental aspect to persist, our life structure could eventually crumble, leaving us with no option to reverse the process. We gotta go all the way up to the window. And uh, everything else looks good. 
just up to your window everything is just deteriorated to done you're gonna have to rebuild this wall guys let's go for another one Raising the section of the cabin requires a nearly 9 inch lift, while simultaneously shifting it towards the fireplace. I do have a plan on how we'll achieve this, but I'll delve into the details on one of the next videos. The presence of deteriorated bottom logs has caused the cabin to shift in various directions, intensifying the complexity and the hazardous of the task. However, as I often reiterate, Adopting a gradual and methodical approach ensures successful outcomes in the end. What are you trying to do now? I'm trying to look this side. Everything's coming out. Yeah, we need to we need to brace this wall from inside and outside in order for these uh, logs to stay together because what, what it's doing is basically like warping it. Okay, so this will go inside. Have much room to work in here. And now we're gonna drill through and see where the hole is, and then attach another four by four post outside, and then we'll be able to join them together with a pole thread. Try this again. This thing is messed up now. So that's another inch here. We got what six inches to go. Inch and a quarter, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be enough for today. I don't want to give too much uh, pressure or else we're gonna snap it and this will not be good. So I'm gonna quit for today and come back in a couple days. Thank you for watching.